Hi everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog, and I just want to give you a small tip about octaves, frequencies, and harmonics. Now, if you watch my other video, you know what the difference is between harmonics and the fundamental frequency, right? Now, one thing that I didn't go into is the relationship between the two, mathematically speaking. So, if you have a sound, like a saw wave, let's say, whose fundamental frequency is at 100 hertz, then it has harmonics at 200 hertz, 300 hertz, 400 hertz, 500 hertz, etc., etc., etc. Multiples of that fundamental frequency, right? Now, our ear uses the relationship between those frequencies to figure out what note it is, so what note the fundamental is at. So even if you chop off the fundamental frequency with like a drastic filter, you can still tell what note is being played. Now, let me show you something in Ableton. Let me show you a simple operator with the waveform set to sawtooth wave so that we then look into a spectrum analyzer. And so when I hit a note here, all right, so I'm going up and down octaves. So let's set, let's say that it's going to play at a thousand hertz. Now, if I hit play, there you go. Let's look at this up close. So the fundamental frequency is at 1000 hertz. The next one is at 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, in even multiples of the fundamental frequency, right? However, if I play way lower, imagine I play around 50 hertz. So let me set that to 50 hertz. Let's look at the relationship between the harmonics. Look at that. So what we've got is one at 50, one at 100, one at 150, one at 200. So each harmonic is 50 hertz apart, whereas in the other one, each harmonic is a thousand hertz apart. So our ear, even if we just band pass the top frequencies of both of these uh, waveforms, our ear will be able to perceive that one of them is playing at a thousand hertz and the other one is playing at 50 hertz, just because of the distance of the harmonics related to each other. So all I want to say is if you're looking for a sound that has high frequencies, that's like, let's say, a, a brass hit in your song, like a, something in a techno song where you have like a big brass hit, you don't necessarily need to play it up high on the keyboard because you're looking for the high frequencies. Play it low on the keyboard and then roll off all the low frequencies and keep only the high frequencies because we'll perceive it as a lower note, which sometimes can be more appropriate to the aesthetic that you have like a, a very deep aggressive note rather than a thin high friendly note. And that's all. I really just wanted to give a quick insight into the relationship between the fundamental and the harmonics and that our ear can really tell what note is being played just by the harmonics. So choose your note wisely. Don't let yourself be guided too much by the frequency spectrum analyzer. If you found this helpful, check out some of our other beginner content here on YouTube. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and consider signing up for one of our classes at underdog.brussels or come say hi on the Discord channel. Leave any questions you've got below. Stay producing, be good, take care of each other. Bye-bye.